y'all. Welcome back to it again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger video for y'all, man. As y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail. Or this bright orange friend that we got on the dashboard. Vader's throwing a check engine light and I don't know why. Yeah. What's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, sink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, keep us. You know, woke up this morning, said my prayers, brushed my teeth. The remote started the car, you know what I'm saying? Car turned on, car was idling, warming up for a good little minute. Finally, you know what I'm saying? Ready for me to head out. So, walk outside, car's running, open the door, the check engine light is on. Now, I'm racking my brain like, yo, like, is the check engine light always on when my remote start the car? And like, part of me is like, nah, bro, like, I would remember seeing it, and I don't remember seeing it. So, I proceed to, you know, put my foot on the brake and actually start the car, and the check engine light stays on. Now, since the car did start with the remote start, I'm... 100% sure it's not a hard code it's like a light code a soft code is what we call it um because it's still remote starting whenever you have a check engine light that is a hard code you will not be able to remote start the vehicle the vehicle is just gonna flash the lights as if you just locked it that's all it's gonna do it's not gonna start and if it does start it'll die in certain cars like dodges and stuff like like dodges i know for sure and I'm not 100% sure about Fords. I think Fords just don't start like Chevys, but Dodges will start and then they'll cut off. Once the ECU realizes that the check engine light is on, it'll cut off to save the motor. That's all That's all it is. That's why your car won't remote start whenever you get a check engine light. It's because the car is trying to save the motor. It thinks that something's wrong with it, so it doesn't want to turn it on and have the engine running for a long period of time um, and possibly damage it even more. It's just a safety feature. But yeah, man, I don't know what this code is for, but I'm actually on my way up to the shop right now. So once I get there, I'm going to go ahead and plug the code reader into the car, see what the code is, and I'll update you guys from there. Um, like I said, it's probably a soft code, so I'm going to go ahead and clear it. And then we'll drive around for 50 miles or so and allow the car to go into a, what's called a drive cycle, complete a, a drive cycle, and uh, we'll see if the check engine light comes back on. Hopefully, this is just some kind of like tweak. Cause literally, uh, um, yesterday I disconnected the battery once I was uh, like going to start installing the kill switch. If you guys haven't seen yesterday's vlog, make sure you go tap in to see what happened with that. But there was no wires cut or anything like that. So I'm confused as to, I don't think that had anything to do with it. And then, driving the car around afterwards car drove perfectly fine and then I just went home and I parked it so here we are I don't know we'll see what's going down I'll keep you guys updated many unbearable hours later so as y'all know our ghetto friend the check engine light has decided to come back and pay us a visit now like I told y'all in the beginning of the vlog, I was gonna connect the device. Apple CarPlay took over, but like I was saying, I was gonna connect the device at the shop to read the code, and I completely forgot to do that today. But then I remembered the P3 gauge allows you to read and delete the codes. So I hit up my boy Jake over at P3, shout out to my boy Jake, and he told me how to do it. So you hold both of the buttons down, until you see config and you let it go it says DTC once it says DTC you tap the left button it tells you what the code is so P26 C8 
Now, to clear it, if I'm not mistaken, you just hold down the left button. Or maybe, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, maybe I did that wrong. Hold it down, let it go. Tap. Maybe you hold the right button. One hour later. All right, y'all. So I figured out what I was doing wrong. I had the car on. You got to have it in accessory mode. And then once it's in accessory mode, Hey, yo, wake up, my guy. Config, DTC. Hold it one time, tap it one time. It shows you the code. Then you press and hold the left button. It's doing its loading. Okay, now it says that it is cleared. I'll turn this joint off. Start it up. Yo! Let's go, bruh. And as y'all see, the check engine light is clear, Jid. That's crazy, bruh. I can't even lie, man. Huge shout out to P3. Um, like, I know what the code is now. Basically, that code is a chassis module code. Um, it popped on. I don't know why. I just put it as you guys saw. Hopefully it doesn't pop back on. You know, I'm going to go ahead and drive the car, do a full duty cycle, and I hope that's it. But y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Do y'all want me to make a video going over all of the functions of the P3 gauge? Because I know not a lot of people actually run this gauge, and y'all should because it's really an all-in-one gauge. It does everything. As you guys just saw, it literally does everything. So. If you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications. And I will go ahead and roll that outro. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.